Hello YouTube, um, you guys might know about this, the Galaxy Watch that just, that's out now. Um, I kind of want to give my thoughts on that watch. Now, uh, that watch seems to be an okay watch, but I heard from people on the IS3 list, which is a Google list that I'm subscribed to, that it's the same accessibility as screen reader pretty much even though even though it's voice assistant now and uh, it's just, it has like the same sound feedback and the same everything as our phones so it's pretty much the same version and uh, yeah and also yeah pretty much and pretty much here's the bad part you still have to have sighted assistance to turn on voice assistant on the on the Galaxy Watch, like you can't do no shortcut. Now, to me, that's uh, now to me that's devastating because who wouldn't like to be able to turn on accessibility by themselves on the Galaxy Watch? Like who, like who would not want to do that? I think I think they really should have added more accessibility to Tizen 4.0, but did they? No, pretty much the same stuff. So I'm, so I imagine that it's probably gonna lag pretty badly, but I don't know. It's voice assistant, so I don't know. I haven't had a chance to get my hands on one yet, but if I, if I ever did, I'd let you guys know. Because. Like I said, um, you might know my friend from YouTube, Justin Ruland. He has a he has a uh, Gear S3, a Samsung a Samsung Gear S3, and I've heard that thing. That thing is very very slow and laggy. So, and I was hoping that the Galaxy Watch wasn't going to be like that. I was hoping there's going to be there was going to be accessibility improvements, but no, same stuff, same old stuff our phones so yeah like I said that just that just makes me not happy to hear about hear that that Samsung is taking their accessibility this way now the voice assistant is accessible or whatever but uh, it's not like but there's not a lot of cool features with it and stuff. So you'd think they would improve more accessibility on the later versions. But according to Tizen 4.0, nothing's improved, it's the same version. And yeah, that like I said, that just uh that kind of ruins me because I mean not ruins me, but it ruins the Galaxy Watch because what if you look? What if you were alone? Now, okay, yeah. Let me say this. Sorry, guys, I'm just fidgeting with my iPhone six. I probably shouldn't do that, but uh, what if you were alone and you didn't have a house? I mean, and, and you had a house, but what if you were living alone in your own house? Who would be there to turn on voice assistant for you? No one. No one. So you'd be so you'd be stuck with a Galaxy Watch with no voice assistant. So that's what would suck. And as far as third party apps will go, I don't know for sure. But we'll have to wait and see about those. Like like my friend has the Gear S3, like I said. Justin, you might know him from YouTube. He has the Samsung Gear S3. And, yeah, he, uh... You can't open Samsung Health with a screen reader thing on. So that's what stinks. And, uh... So... I don't know for sure. I wonder I wonder if you can turn it out. I mean, open it with voice assistant. So, yeah, it kinda, it's kind of weird. Because you can open the gallery with a screen reader on. But you can't open Samsung Health. I mean, how... 
Like, how seriously does that make any sense? Because it doesn't. Now, I hope their watches don't keep getting worse and worse because, oh, excuse me, I want to get a Samsung watch for sure. Talking quietly because everybody's sleeping here. I want to get a Samsung watch definitely for sure. But, but if Samsung is going to keep this, uh, but if Samsung is going to keep this accessibility crap up, I'm not getting one. You know, because there should be no reason why you can't turn on and off voice assistant with a shortcut. Now, I know, pe I know people hate Apple. Some people hate Apple with their iPhones, but think of voiceover, by the way. You, there's this triple click home thing. So, 11, PM. so like, look, if I hit my home button three times. Voiceover off. Voiceover on. 11.22 p.m. See what, curtain on. All right, see what I mean? Now, now, let's, now let's get out of the Apple category and go back to the Android category. So, yeah, like, like what, like, on Android phones, like, on the older ones, you just hold down two fingers after holding the power button down. That's all I had to do. But, now, I have my direct access set to, so when you press, um, when you press the power and volume up buttons, it will, it will turn on voice assistant, and when I press the two volume buttons together and hold them for three mm -hmm. seconds, it turns on talk back, so, which is pretty cool, I, I do like that, that they did that now. So, yeah, if you guys, like I said, I want to say one more time that right now Samsung has good good screen reader accessibility and turning on and off for phones. But for watches right now, sadly, no, they don't. So I'm really hoping that they finally come up with something like I'm hoping that they finally fix their accessibility stuff, and, yeah, if they do, if they do that, if they do, then, yeah, I'd definitely get a smartwatch, a Samsung smartwatch, and, yeah, Google, uh, <clears throat> I mean, jumping again to another, to another company, um, Google Wear products, those, I mean, Samsung has been making watches for a while. Google, Google that hasn't that didn't make uh, Google Wear for very long at all. Then they decided to abandon Google Wear, which I mean, you can still you can still get the watches, but they just abandoned it completely. I mean, I don't I don't know if they abandoned it or not, but <clears throat> that's all I know. I think I think they did. Like they're like like Google is not even making any new watches now for Google Wear. It's crazy to think, but that's what I know that that they're not making any more watches. So yeah, if you guys like this video, oh sorry guys, I just want to say one more thing. Yeah, so um, like I said, I'd love to have a Galaxy Watch, but from what I'm hearing right now is that you still need sighted assistance to turn on voice assistant when it's set up. And same exact stuff as the, the, all the other watches in our phones. So, so yeah, if, like I said, if Google, if Samsung keeps this, uh, keeps this terrible accessibility up, this terrible, this terrible accessibility crap up, I'm not, I won't, I will not get one. And there's, actually, there's one more thing I want to mention. I won't call this my thoughts on the Galaxy Watch. I'll call it my thoughts on the Galaxy Watch with uh, some tech talk. Um, yeah, and also Google Talk back recently. I tried this too. Like when you try to like read something and, like read a YouTube chat by word, it won't let you. It'll just start saying weird stuff like sometimes they'll say random letter, sometimes they'll say other things, which. 
my first YouTube has been doing real good. Now all of a sudden YouTube has been terrible. They've been crashing a lot and they've been they won't let you read by word. Or talk back. It's so it's it, it's so crazy and uh and yeah, there's a bug with voice assistant where like <clears throat> When you go to watch a video and an ad plays, it'll like t it'll, it'll like talk over the ad, and like when you double tap to hear something to like hear a video, it like it'll say like showing items one to one to four or forty five or something like that, and like interrupt your video that you're watching. So I really hope all this gets fixed up. And yeah, like I said, if it does, I will get a smartwatch. I will get an, a Samsung smartwatch, or any or any. Android smartwatch. So yeah, if you guys uh, enjoy this video, just um, be sure to let me know, and uh, hope you all have a nice day and um, enjoy your night and the, and your day. Peace.